Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the third part of the tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we'll be learn uh, we'll we'll learn how to control uh, real time parameters in um, in Unity. Uh, real time parameters set up in Wise. I'll be using the same uh, proje Wise project that I used in the previous tutorials and the same Unity project I used in the previous tutorials. So let's get into it. Um, first of all, we need to create uh, create a Wise event. Um, I have a, a piece of music that I want to that I want to con control, but I'm gonna put this music into um, into sound effects. So yeah, we're gonna import it to the sound effects. We're gonna replace it, and yes, here it is. Um, I'm using I'm using um, I'm using the sound of um, importing the music into the sound effects uh, because you can't control. Uh, if you import the music se uh, segment, you can't control the pitch, and it's not. Uh, I want it, the effect to be very apparent. Uh, first of all, we'll make it loop, so it'll be uh, an infinite loop. And uh, the second thing, we'll set the RT uh, RT uh, PC, uh, which is uh, uh, the the parameter that will be controlling that we can access in Unity and control aspects uh, of this sound. Uh, first of all, we need to create a new game parameter. We call this parameter pitch, and as you can see, we can control uh, a lot of aspects of the sound itself. A lot of effects also have the option to attach uh, par uh, parameters to them. Uh, we want to control the pitch of the sound. So, um, as a as a default, all those parameters starts from zero to one hundred. I can drag it along, and you can see that uh, the the curve like doesn't change the sound yet. I play, and I drag it along, and nothing happens. Uh, so we'll change that. We'll make it to go f through minus 200 pitch to 200. And let's try it now. Okay. So it works, and I I want to control uh, this uh, this this parameter through code. Um, if we go to the game sync tab, we can see the parameter here. Actually, I want to change it between zero to one hundred to zero to ten, and it will ask me uh, because I already have this parameter attached to attached to uh, a sound. It will ask me what how do I want to address that change in the values in the min and max values of that uh, of that uh, game parameter. I'll turn. I want to stretch, and we can see that. Um, Still, uh, it goes between 200 and uh, minus 200 to 200, and uh, just the numbers on the parameter changed. Okay, and now we need to create an event that will play this music. We're gonna call it um, music play music three. Uh, we go to the events. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna select our sound bank. I'm gonna put the event here. We want to generate. Okay, and now we can go to Unity. Uh, we'll create a new script called game. Uh, we'll call it uh, RTPC controller. I'm gonna open the script up. I'm gonna open the script. First of all, We'll format. So we'll we'll start by uh, creating a controller by by getting inputs uh, from from the player. Uh, get get key down. Uh, key code. Key num. Keypad one. This is linked to the numpad uh, numpad uh, keys. This is obviously keypad one, and in the previous tutorials we created an audio master that has uh, all the all the how to handle the events, the event handlers. Um, if you want to watch the tutorial, but I'll actually for this one I won't be using I won't be using the audio master. Um, oh, actually I do need to use the audio master to load the 
the sound banks so we're gonna use the audio audio master I'm gonna load load the sound bank as you can see this is loading loading the sound bank wise unity sound bank uh, but other than that I won't be using the handlers so you can get the uh, uh, better understanding what I'm what I'm doing so uh, we're gonna use uh, audio kinetic sound engine uh, um, we're gonna post post event and the event name is l just like we said here play music free um, oh, needs to be a string um, and then when we now uh, 2 and 3 and 4 okay the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a float uh, called uh, pitch value pitch value uh, this float will start at 0 no it will start at 5 uh, 5 in our in our event if you if you can see the RTCP 5 means no pitch modulation uh, so there is n nothing the pitch is at 0 uh, zero change that is and when we press 2 what we want to do we want to start incrementing um, incrementing the uh, the pitch value by mm, let's let's make a public float float call it speed and it will start at 2 Uh, we'll increment by speed multiplies time dot delta time. Uh, time delta time is how long it takes to load. Uh, how long did it took to load the previous frame? So it will be uh, connected to the frame rate actually. Um, next thing we want to do is uh, use to set the RTCP. So audio audio sound engine set. Uh, set RTCP value and here the first this function gets two parameters the first parameter is the RTCP name so we go to our game sync tab and the name is pitch so we use that and then uh, we set it to uh, pitch value and if we press 3 we are gonna decrease that value so to recap what we what we are doing here basically we posting the event we play we play the music then we uh, increment increment uh, the value of uh, our float and then we assign the float to the game parameter uh, that we set up in in wise the same thing happens here but we decrease the value let's test it let's go to our uh, our player let's remove the audio banks because we don't need that because we already load uh, the audio banks inside the RTCP controller oh we have we have uh, oh yes I totally forgot this this gets uh, two parameters uh, the second parameter is the, the game object that is emitting the sound um, yeah because we typed uh, get key down it it is only being called once the key is down once the key is pressed uh, so we want get key we increment and now we we'll press 3 we'll decrease the speed decrease the pitch increase the speed and yeah basically this is how we uh, how we control values uh, through code thanks thanks for watching and I hope uh, you find this useful